Hello, welcome to Tech Easy. Today in this video, we'll see how we can use Zoho CRM Customer Relationship Management Tutorial, which is especially for beginners. For example, this is the first time you're going to use Zoho CRM. So this is one Zoho CRM. See here. I have already created an account and right I logged into this and this is the home interface what you will see when you first log into your Zoho CRM and these are all the options home leads contacts account deals tasks meetings and projects and what are the options available and how you can create all this and how you can maintain better relationship with the customers or the clients for your business before going any further so I have already created a account on Zoho CRM and I already recorded a video on that and made a tutorial like how to create a Zoho account for CRM which is absolutely free. So if you don't know how to create an account on Zoho. So what I'll do is I'll drop the link for this. I'll just copy this and I'll drop the link in the description. You can go through this video particularly uh, if you don't know how to set up an account on free Zoho CRM and coming to the options so what is basically Zoho CRM for if you have a company for example a app development company and you got 100 customers or the clients each coming up with a different requirement to have their own app for example if one of your customer is banking application they want a mobile application they reached you and they are one of the customers among 100 customers actually you can maintain the relationship of all those customers those 100 customers or the clients in one area that is called crm zoho customer relationship management see here right now there are three companies listed here under my accounts and these are all the three companies for example i am a app development company so i can track all these accounts accounts in the sense companies in one single area i can check their contacts deals and the percentage of the work going on and everything everything in one place which is customer relationship management i'll go by detail with each step by step first i'll explain you what are leads then contacts account deals and tasks and what are the meetings and what are the projects and here also will have some options if you click on the settings gear icon you will have some options users company settings and everything will uh, look into it one by one and in this video i'm going to explain you within 10 minutes about all these options i'll take very less time and this is your profile picture area or your profile area see here if you want to sign out you can sign out here if you want to click on my account you will get the details of your account first i'll start with leads okay what is leads actually for example as i said if uh, take for example you are a app development company so you will have some website or something like that so on google if a person for example a bank which is in need of mobile app development search you somewhere on the google and as your business is on google they'll just reach you means they want to contact you by somewhat they have called you so we call that banking application company for example say abc xyz that company name so that abc xyz will be considered as a lead means this is not at converted into a business or something like that it is just a lead so you are having that communication for example uh, that company is abz xyz and some alex one of the representative from the company for example say business manager may have called you and you will say that person or this company as a lead so what you take the information from that lead so you need to click on leads then click on create lead and you will get a form see here basing upon the communication between you and that pers uh, company person you'll ask about their company name for example as i said abc xyz is the company name so you have talked to the person called alex 
select something a last name in the title they required a mobile app for banking okay okay fine their email to so, their phone number i'm just entering some dummy details okay don't worry about this you need to take all the necessary information the lead source maybe they came through the advertisements through google advertisement or something like that and they have just contacted you the lead status and everything you will take and you just need to click on save here so this lead has been saved so if you get like 20 leads in a day you will just update by just clicking on leads here and click on create a new lead and you'll as for the communication through the call or through the meeting or whatever whichever it may be through the email or whatever it may be you'll take all the details and all the leads can be monitored in this dashboard see here when you click on dashboard if you have a 20 leads here all those 20 leads will appear here with the company name okay so this is the first thing which is all about leads and when you click on leads i'll show you one more important thing as you are getting a form when you click on create lead you are getting a layout or a form with the respective fields like company name first name second name and these fields can be of your choice this is where the zoho crm is a very useful tool for you actually there is an option see here edit page layout here you can decide what are the fields required for you if you don't want any field to be here present here when you're creating a lead you can absolutely remove them or if you want any other uh, fields you can add them this is the advantage of edit page layout this will be available for contacts for accounts for deals for tasks whatever the form you are using you will have this option so i'm telling you this for particularly leads you can apply for all the options okay we'll go to this one tab yeah as this page is getting loaded if you have any queries regarding the crm zoho crm any questions or doubt please do ask in the comments so that for the next videos i'll clear your doubts and i also did few videos on zira software which is project management tool and i also did pro uh, videos on zoho project which is also a project management tool you can ask questions regarding that also in the comment so i'll try to explain them see here edit page layout here where i we can add or remove fields in the form for example uh, you don't want this uh, title okay you can click on this three dots and click on remove field okay yes remove this field or if you want to add a phone here you can drag and drop this field okay okay as my account is free edition adding another fields is not possible but if you upgrade it it is possible for you right now but you can remove the fields okay whichever the fields you don't like for example uh, if you feel like rating is unwanted in this field you can just click on remove for example if you want uh, skype id is mandatory you can just click on mark as required so when you do this when you do this for the first time when you save this when you create a new lead this skype id will be mandatory i will show you okay what i'll do is i'll just refresh the page here so when you click on create a new lead for the next time if you observe i'll scroll to the bottom until i find this Skype ID, see here, this is the mandatory field. For example, if you leave this field empty and if you try to click on save, the mandatory field won't allow you to, uh, example, like that. I'm just entering the dummy details, okay? If there is a website for this, you can just enter all the details because there will be a communication between you and the company through a company person. So you can gather all this information and same likewise as I explained in the leads layout here also you can click on edit page layout and you can choose what are the required fields you want to have in this account section create field okay once you enter all those details uh, I'm just entering the dummy details here is a customer to you industry type whatever the industry type is annual revenue of that company so 
it is absolutely your touch the address information is at the bottom whatever it may be you can click on save so that company details are with your uh, zoho crm so here from here you can monitor their details see here you if you want to edit at any time you can click on this name of the account or the company name and uh, you can click on this edits here at right top and you can edit the details at any time and coming to the contacts for example this is the company name and for example there may be 10 employees working in this accounts means the company and among them two people contacted you contacted you or your business providers so those are called as the contacts means accounts is simply companies and contacts are the people which are in that company which try to contact you in the example alex dude is the person which has contacted you so you will save that alex dude as the contacts in your contact list likewise as i created see here as i created a new company here grouping alt infotech for example there is a person name uh, ruth contacted you so you can click on create a contact so same here also you will have that same field edit page layout and all the fields here are chosen by you this is absolutely your choice for example and ruth is from which company grouping alpha infotech see here ruth is the person which contacted you through phone or through email whatever it may be and that person email name see here in for future use for future communication this record this contact record will be useful so so through the advertisement they have reached you what is the department what is the home phone all these details you can enter for example date of birth something like that once you save this once you enter all the details you can click on save and this contact gets saved likewise all your contacts will be saved here and if you observe there is a green tag here so this is nothing but a task i will i'll explain what are tasks in the next video if you want to know what is task i'll do a clear explanation and video for the task separately please do comment if you want this task tutorial separately Anyway, this task is very important in the Zoho CRM or any CRM. So I'll do a separate video and next coming to the deals. What are the deals? For example, you have communication with so and so person in so and so company. And for example, take this mobile banking application development. So when they approached you to do the service for them to develop an app, you will quote a price to them and they will negotiate it all these things comes under deals so how you can create a deal uh, click on deal and click on create a deal and what is the deal about so these are the fields and here also same you can click on edit page layout and you can have the required fields here what is the deal name mobile banking app quotation or something like that whatever it may be appropriate you can choose the name for it and account name what is the company uh, which is talking about grouping golf infotech okay fine it is a new business to finish the deal is the next step lead source through advertisement they have approached you what is the contact name as i said uh, ruth is the contact name which contacted you asking about the mobile app and what is the amount i said like it will be like five thousand dollars okay uh, what is the expected revenue i'll get something like this much and what is the stage it is under for example uh price code okay what is the deadline for that i'm just giving the dummy dates and everything dummy quotation and everything so once you enter this you can write a short description about your call conversation and about the deal uh, so you have asked the price or anything you can write the description here so this will be useful to take it later okay once you are done 
with this and you can just click on the save see here unlike all these options these are just saving the contacts or the details but deals has a analyzation part see here i have kept something like proposal price quote here so currently the progress of this deal between you and that company grouping alp input x or something like that example i just gave like that is in the state of proposal or the price quote state for example after a week the negotiation is done between you and that person or the company you can shift to you can click on this so that there is a progress in this deal and for example in after the next week if everything goes on well between you and that company and they agreed to pay or they agreed to take your services you may say something like it is closed so yeah closing date okay fine i'll change the date click on save see here you have won this deal means you have converted this particular lead or the company into a sale so here there is left side there is an option called stage history stage history in the sense as i did all in the same day it is showing like see here modified date i just did where all of uh, these modifications today only right within this tutorial though it is showing the same date but it will record each and everything means for example then this will be on the next week this will be on the after next week so each and every action which will be monitored here see on this particular date we started about the quotation and the next week there is a review and the next week we have won this lead and converted this into sale and we are getting into the project or the work in this way this zoho crm is absolutely useful to check what are the deals which are converted to the sales and what are the deals which we lost or what are the deals which are in progress by clicking on these deals each and every deal we can actually have a better look and a better history history of the actions what we have exactly done what is the communication went on and everything will be analyzed see here this is one of the quotation or the deal with the previous company see here here also you can check the staging history and coming to the meetings and the projects i'll explain you in the next video for now i do request if you have any questions please do ask in the comments so that I can try to answer you. I hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching. Have a nice